Hey there, lovely viewers. It's Anna from For Real. And today I've got something important to chat about. Ever had those moments when you check your credit card statement and see mysterious charges from iTunes, Apple, or Apple iTunes? Yeah, it happens to the best of us, but fret not. Because in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what to do if you find yourself in that situation. We'll break it down step by step. And by the end of this video, you'll be the master of handling those unexpected charges. So let's dive right in. First things first, let's figure out why you're seeing those strange charges. It could be one of four reasons, so let's break them down. Option one, you made a purchase using your Apple ID. This one's pretty common. Sometimes we forget about those sneaky purchases we made a while back. Option two, someone in your family sharing group made a purchase. If you're the organizer, you might be charged for their buys. Option three, someone else made a purchase using your Apple ID. Yep, if someone got hold of your password, they could be shopping on your account. Option four, someone else made a purchase using your card. Identity theft alert. If your card details were compromised, you might be in trouble. Now that we've got a handle on why those charges might be there, let's learn how to check your Apple ID invoices. Apple sends an invoice for every card payment they take. Search your email inbox for Apple invoice. It should pop up if you've received one. If you can't find it in your emails, no worries. You can also look through your purchase history directly on your Apple ID account. Remember, sometimes Apple groups purchases together, so it might not be immediately obvious what the charges are for. Okay, now that you've found those pesky charges, let's talk about how to cancel them. If someone made an unauthorized purchase from your Apple ID account, change your password immediately to stop them from making more purchases. Next, head over to reportaproblem.apple.com to discuss those unexpected charges with Apple and request a refund. And if all else fails, contact Apple support directly. They're there to help you out. Well, there you have it, my friends. Now you know exactly what to do if you find those mysterious charges on your card statement. Remember, stay vigilant. Keep an eye on your purchases and don't hesitate to take action if something doesn't look right. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to For Real for more awesome tech tips, and leave a comment down below sharing your experiences or questions. Your feedback helps our community grow. That's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay curious, stay tech savvy, and take care.